Welcome back to my channel. I have got my fiance Darren here. We're doing a video that we really should have done ages ago, I think, but we just never got around to it. So this video is just a casual account of why we went vegan. And then at the end of the video, we will give our tips on what you should be doing if you are interested in going vegan or you want to go vegan. I should probably um, state that we are probably more plant-based than we are vegan. Now, the reason I went vegan. In all honesty, I've never really eaten a lot of meat. Even as a child, I, I never enjoyed it. I didn't like red meat. I didn't like chicken. I hate gristle. I hate the fatty parts. I hate seeing veins or blood in my food. It kind of just, you know, I try to be as good of a person as I can. I've got four rescue dogs. I adore animals. I believe that they have just as much of a right to life as what me and Darren do, for example. And I was thinking to myself, how can I have those beliefs? Yet, I'm going to the supermarket and purchasing the flesh of a cow that somebody has killed on my behalf and then I'm paying them to do it. It just didn't make any sense in my head why I would do that because I would never say to someone, go out to the back field there and kill that cow because I want to cook him up for dinner. There's not a hope in hell of me ever doing that. In fact, if someone tried to kill one of my cows, I'd probably kill them. That just didn't make sense in my mind, and so then I started doing some research on how to go vegan. In my research, I wanted to watch documentaries. What did I watch first? I think it was Forks Over Knives is what I watched first. That was on Netflix. Then I watched... Cowspiracy. Cowspiracy. And then, finally, I wanted to watch Earthlings. And this is kind of where Darren comes into it, because I had told Darren that I was looking at going vegan. I remember you saying to me, like, back in the day when I was talking to you about it, you were like, yeah, that's fine, you can go vegan if you want to, but don't expect me to go vegan. You know, like what a typical he-man would say, because you used to eat meat for, like, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, yep. snacks, midnight snack. All the time. Never in a million years did I ever think Darren would go vegan. I thought it would just be me. So anyway, um, I put on Earthlings one night. Me and Darren sat down. I was like, do you want to watch this documentary? I'm going to watch it. So you can watch it with me if you want, and he did. I'll kind of let you take it from here if you want. I used to work in a slaughterhouse a few years ago, so I kind of, I knew everything that goes on anyway. Yeah, after, I mean, after seeing Earthlings, which shows all the, the abuse and, and everything. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Striker! I'm trying to have a serious video here. He's coming to help you now. I don't even remember what I was saying now. And that was that was hard to watch. Literally, straight after watching it, I knew I just couldn't eat, eat meat anymore. I gave up meat straight away, and I think I had milk in the fridge that I was kind of still drinking. But after a few days, I was I was like, nah, I just, I'm gonna, gonna go all in, do the whole fucking lot. Would you say, like for someone watching this, would you say that you went vegan for health reasons or for ethical reasons? Ethical reasons, 100%. I genuinely like all animals, like fucking deer, pigs, goats, and sheep, and everything. If you can thrive on this diet and not have to harm animals and the planet and whatnot, then why wouldn't you do it? That's not even talking about the health benefits. Oh, here's another thing I wanted to just kind of talk about, is I know a lot of people want to go vegan, but they don't want to go vegan or even try to go vegan because they know that if they stuff up or if they can't do it fully or if they eat cheese sometimes, they're going to be labelled a hypocrite, they're going to be um, judged by people, other vegans are going to judge them, and so they think it's easier just to not try at all. And that's where my issue with like veganism comes into play as well, because, for example, me and Darren, we're definitely not militant vegans by any means. All we're trying to do is our best, so we're definitely not perfect vegans. We, For example, if we are in a tiny um, like rural country town in Ireland or Scotland, for example, and we need to go out to eat and they don't have anything vegan, I'm not going to sit there and starve and have lettuce for breakfast, lunch, and tea. I will get a vegetarian meal. I still won't eat any meat. I'm never going to touch meat again. But I would have a vegetarian meal with a bit of milk in the soup or a bit of cream in the soup or a bit of cheese that's in the pasta sauce if there was nothing else to have. That would be on very rare occasions when there's nothing else. But that's what I'm saying. Like, If you don't put a label on it, we're just people trying to do the best we can to avoid animal products. And I feel like if you know yourself that you can't be perfect, don't let that stop you from trying to do at least little things to make a positive impact and to lessen the suffering of animals. For example, you're obsessed with cheese and you know that you can't live without it. That's fine. Give up meat. Give up milk. 
and keep eating your cheese. At least you're still making some positive impact. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so now shall we say our tips on people that, for people that want to go plant-based? Yeah. My best tips, if you want to go plant-based and you have no idea where to start, it would be to watch three documentaries. Probably four now, actually, four documentaries. So what I would recommend you do is first watch um, Forks Over Knives um, and then Environmental documentary would be Cowspiracy and then if you want to know about the actual animals and what happens to them and the ways in which humans use them it would be Earthlings. So I'll try and link them, I'll name them anyway down below just in case you forgot what I said and then you can either find them on YouTube, Netflix or just downloading them. And then a new one which I know that people are finding really good is What the Health. I watched that and I thought it was good but I thought these other three documentaries were even better for people that were interested in going vegan. This is not really a tip but for all the men I'm gonna link five of my favorite vegan bodybuilders. I'll link their Instagram pages so you can have a look and see for yourself that you, you, can, you can obviously make quality gains in the gym um, on a vegan diet. What we found was helpful with him because Obviously I didn't love meat so I found it really easy not eating meat anymore but Darren loved meat and he was used to eating meat and so what we found helpful with him was to substitute animal flesh for fake meat like the good quality ones. What we can do actually if you guys would find it helpful if you want to leave some questions in the comments down below underneath this video if we haven't touched on anything that you want to know the answer to feel free to leave whatever questions you have regarding veganism, whatever lifestyle food bodybuilding, leave them down below and we can film another video for you answering you guys' questions that you leave underneath this video. If you guys are interested in Darren's Instagram, he does a lot of meal preps on there and he also does a lot of what he eats as like a vegan bodybuilder. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll put Darren's Instagram in the description box down below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that this video was helpful for you. Do you love my long fam? Yep. Say bye Rousey. Bye. bye. Let's get our... Bye. You gotta pose for the thumbnail, come you back! Like Rousey, where are you going?